11월 28일부터 12월 14일까지 3주간 진행된 2016K 퀴즈 앤 렉처 시리즈를 소개해드리겠습니다. 이번 행사는 LA문화원과 한식조리 아카데미의 협업을 통해 미 현지인을 대상으로 이루어진 체계적인 한식 문화 교육입니다. 특히 이번 한식 강좌는 문화원 홈페이지를 통해 홍보 시작 첫날부터 모든 강좌가 마감이 되어 인기를 끌었는데요. 초급반은 평일 월, 수, 금, 저녁 6시 반부터 8시 반까지 2시간 동안 총 8회 과정으로 진행되었으며 관심사에 따라 개별 신청이 가능했고요. 중급반은 총 4회 토요일 오후 1시부터 5시 반까지 보다 심화된 내용으로 주요 한식 메뉴를 실습해볼 수 있었습니다. 수강생들이 과연 어떤 음식을 어떻게 만들었는지 궁금하시죠? 한번 같이 따라가 볼까요? 오늘 첫날인데 어, 너무 적극적이고 서로 배려하면서 하는 모습들이 어, 우리나라 어르신 말씀이 아름답다라는 표현을 전 오늘 하고 싶었어요. I found the first lecture very informative and a very firm foundation for the balance of the classics, which, as I understand it, will sort of take us all over the Korean culinary map. Very good. Mm. <웃음> 우리 음식이 최고라고 외칠 때, 맛있다고 외칠 때, 그리고. 다 끝나고 나서는 감사하다는 마음에 네, 저 보람을 느껴요. 그래서 음식도 음식이 아주 맛있지만은 순두부찌개를 즐겨서 먹는 편이다 하는 분. 아니, 저희 일행이 순두부찌개. 네. Yeah, for me is to be able to, I guess, know more the culture through the dishes, you know, the traditional food. I guess, I guess it's one way of knowing, you know, how the people, uh, you know, enjoy different type of uh, dishes, you know, and the flavors that, you know, goes along with it. I love Korean food. I actually, before I was told about this class, I wanted to go to Korea and learn, you know, go to Korean school to learn how to cook. So this is like perfect, you know, being right here at home. Yes, it makes it more exciting that way too. We're going to put it in the sauce. So we'll see what happens. Good luck to everyone. We'll pour the tofu and water into the pot and boil it with a high heat. Okay, so. If the seasoning says put sesame oil, so I added it in the mixture. But everyone remembers it as putting only at the end. How much is the oil? Some clams, and you only have the seasoning, you only add it the, uh, the seasoned clams along with the other half of the, of the mix. So that we are timing it, we have to be cooked for two minutes. It looks like it's really good. Yeah. Or the, they have the tofu side dish. Just, just right now? Oh. Between the hard and soft tofu for um, the different kinds of soups, like the chicken is like the really hard tofu, and then the soft tofu. Maybe another. 
Well, first of all, I think Korean food is, uh, has such a variety in terms of uh, taste. You have sweet, sour, spicy, and salt. Um, so you get, you know, like every meal, you have all these different things in one meal. So it really helps to motivate you to eat, you know, with the kind of so flavorful. And secondly, it's very, very healthy. 오늘은 조금 특별한 날. 토요일마다 진행되는 중국반 수업을 위해 소중한 주말을 할애해 이곳 한식 조리 아카데미에 모인 수강생들은 하루 총네 가지 음식을 만들게 됩니다. Um, I'm learning a lot about like plating and how Korean food is served. Like, the, like serving in odd numbers or um, not using four. Like having nine was like a really good number and twelve was like for royalty. So that was really cool to learn about, like the history. Yeah, we learned like more like about the culture too, not just about food specifically. Now we kind of, we weren't really sure and familiar with all the Korean ingredients. So like we've gone to the Korean store to buy stuff and we had no idea what to look for or what to get. And so now kind of seeing, seeing like the wrappers, like the noodles, the hot sauce, it's kind of, it makes it easier for us to, to purchase things. And we both enjoyed it so we kind of want to know how to make it as well. Oh, you faded it out. It's trying to be pretty. Nice. He's trying to impress the teacher. <laughs> I wasn't interested and she convinced me to go to go try it because we just started dating and I, I wanted to be agreeable mm -hmm. and I tried it and I loved it. So we started eating tofu soup, we started eating the bulgogi and just going to all these different Korean restaurants um, and then it, when she, we actually tried cooking tofu soup and it was turned out great and then she told me about this place and I said sign me up, I can't wait to try it. I want to prepare Korean food for my friends and family and really primarily I'm here in order to become a more sophisticated consumer of Korean cuisine. You know, I have family comes over, it would be great that I could cook for them. We always go out to a restaurant, to Korean Tang and go to a restaurant, but it would be great that I can cook for myself as well as cook for, you know, friends and family. I want to cook to my, I want to cook to my wife. Yes, to my wife and my son. You know, I want to cook to them, you know, prepare a nice uh, weekend uh, meal, you know, with different dishes. And I want to practice first myself, right, and eventually I will uh, do a complete uh, dinner here for, for both of us. I think I like to cook it for my family. They, I've taken them to Korean restaurant like once before and they are a little hesitant to try it, but once they ate it, they really liked it. And I told them it's just, you know, stuff that they like, like be a lot of beef and a lot of vegetables and they like that, so. I think uh, I'll try to make it for them and try to get them to eat more Korean food regularly. Definitely my family. They always test my food. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll, we'll find out if I learned, like, well, I learned from the best, so it should be, like, a really good experience for them, too. I'm going to pass it along, and I hope, enjoy, I hope they enjoy my food as well. Friends, for sure. Probably friends and family. My parents. My parents eat. They're not very adventurous eaters. Uh, so I want to surprise them with Korean food and, uh, and hopefully they'll love it and if not we'll just get a great story out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>